Hey guys, Matt from KSO. Thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to open up the second pallet, see what's going on in there. I'm going to try a different angle. I'm going to wear the GoPro on my chest. Let me know what you think, if it's better than it sitting up on the tripod and keeping an eye out from above. I'm also going to set up my other camera on a tripod. Maybe I'll do a little picture in picture, see uh, how it turns out. Let me know what you think. If you like this or you prefer the other method, uh, just comment below. If you like it, subscribe, hit like, and here we go. All right, we're going to dig into the second pallet. Let's see what we got cooking here. This one came a little dinged up. It looked like anything was really falling out or uh, damaged, but... Trying out a new view today. I got you on the chest cam. Let's see what it works. If it works out or not. For that crap. This one's tore up, so I'm just gonna cut this off and get it out of the way. In here, just cut the flap off, make sure I don't cut anything inside. Toss it out of the way. Giddy up. Right off the top here, I see a bunch of bags. It's like a good sized duffel bag, messenger bag. Let's see what we got here. Uh, green canvas with leather. Heart and hand. $59.99 list. This is a Target bag. I'm a weekender bag. I'm going to have to check. The hearth and hand that might be on the uh, delabel list. So those are all new with tags, uh, but might need to either cut the tags or get out the marker to delabel them. There's a whole bunch of those in here. There's four, five, six. It's a pretty nice looking bag though. Seven. Ooh, I just dropped a lamp. Eight. A couple more in there, but I don't want to break anything getting them out. Well, let's see what else we got cooking here. Stuff out of here. A little lamp here. Threshold. It's a Target brand. I don't know. Facebook Marketplace. I might use that thing for myself. Good little bedside lamp. There's another lamp down there that I dropped. It's another threshold lamp. A cute one too. That one's got some dirt on the shade. We'll see if we can't clean that up a little bit. Marketplace. What we got going here? Jurassic World. My kids had one of these a couple years ago. It's Mattel. I don't know what year this was from. That should sell. Package is in good shape. Jurassic Park's always big, uh, especially if a new movie comes out. I'll look, a couple more lamps stashed in here. Put those up high here so I don't break them, drop them. Just about dropped that one. up there and putting them up on a the top shelf so I don't break them. Those gotta be worth at least 10 bucks a piece, right? What are these Some cute little zipper pouch bags? Huh. They got three dollar tags on more target stuff. I know what to do with those. I'll probably Kit those up with some junk and sell them. Little People Nativity set. I got one of these in the last box. I'll probably end up sitting on that. I'll list it, but it'll probably be here until next year, Christmas. 
We got some wireless headphones. Uh, heyday. Never even heard of them. They look new, unopened. Uh, no price tag or anything. We'll have to do a little research on those. Playtex safety bath mat. That's like a kid's uh, bath time rubber non-slip mat for the bottom of the tub. A bunch of those in here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to look those up. Those are probably 10 or 15 bucks retail. A couple more of these little uh, pouches. It's a neat pattern. What else we got in here? What is this? Big old stuffed penguin. Look at this guy. A little dirt and it came right off. This is uh, it's a Melissa and Doug plush penguin. It's got a $22 price tag on them. Some penguin lover's gonna pick that up. There you go, a couple scooters. I like these. Uh, these sell good. I think these are like $75 or $80 retail. My kids had these. This is a good item. I'll sell that. I'll probably put that on marketplace first, just because uh, it's a little bit heavy. Got two of those. Just be able to get 50, 60 bucks for those quick. Let's go on here. Some diapers. I have never gotten diapers before. Never tried to sell diapers before. Uh, probably marketplace. See what happens. My kids are well past diapers. Here we go. A lot of baby wipes. Eight hundred a carton. Eight hundred baby wipes. Kit those up with those diapers. See if I can't get a two for one on that. <clears throat> Still fighting this cold, so don't mind some of these noises I'm making here. Is this a towel? No, it's a. Target towel, it's all taped up. It's been definitely some overstock. That might that might be something that just gets used at home here. So what do we got here? A little backpack. It's cat and jack, which I'm pretty sure is on the D-label policy. Cool backpack though. Price tag pulled. Ten bucks. What is this thing? A little kids activity kit. It's a lap lap pad. It's like a little magnet magnet thing you draw on it with the magnet pen or the stamps. Yeah, that'll sell. This is a dry erase calendar. This is glass. Uh, this is really nice. Go sell that. Pretty easy, I'd keep it, except for that pattern is not my style. That is not for my bachelor pad. Put that up here so I'm breaking. What the world is this? It's the game. Watermelon Smash. Not seen that one. Box a little smash, just new, unopened. A couple more of these messenger bags. No, more than a couple more. Opened up quite a few of these. Hopefully they sell good. Looks like a nice bag. If I can get $60 retail, if I can get $20, out, I'm going to be doing all right. I quit counting them. Uh oh, it's all coming down. No T-Rex, good batteries. Packaging looks fine. Crayola spinning spiral art station. I had one of these when I was a kid. 
These are cool. That'll sell. I just ripped that box wide open, whatever it is, buried into something. Uh, water babies. Still got some uh, Target clearance stickers on it. I'll show you guys in another video how I deal with those stickers. When I deal with those stickers. Sometimes I don't even care. This is a breast pump system. And I had one of these once before, not the same model, similar. These things retail four or five hundred dollars. Um, I mean, if I can get 250 or more out of that, I'll be happy. We got going here. Dinosaur playset. This is cool. Push to hear it roar. Yeah, I don't know what to push. There he goes. So he's functional. Lights up, mouth lights up, roars. Cool playset. This, uh, the Terra by Batat stuff usually uh, retails for a lot. And I've had a handful of these things that have sold decent. I'll have to look this up. Let's see, uh, retail. It's big. It's a big item. It doesn't weigh a ton, but it'll be kind of a pain to ship. Some kids' fun flossers. This bag's open. That's garbage. Beyblade. Beyblade Turbo. Battle League. I've sold a bunch of Beyblades. Box a little beat up. That's new. That'll sell good. Baby stuff. Got a little little wrapping paper remnant there. That was a return. Looks unopened. Eh, it's got a little tear in the box, but the factory seal looks untouched. That'll sell. That's a cool little set. Baby stuff seems to sell really well. Here's another one of those lap toys, different color. VTEC Kids Karaoke Machine. Uh, factory tape. I think that's that looks like factory tape. Looks like it might have been peeled though. I'll have to open it up, make sure everything's there. It's a good item though, as long as it's all there. I think this stuff always sells. That's probably 10 bucks. <clears throat> oh, it's just another one of those bags, different color, same style. One, two, three, four, five of those. Same style as those other ones, different color. Whatever's going on right here is there's another ink cartridge, another blue one. Or yellow, that one's yellow. Let's check the date on these. Uh, expiration date's not till December 2020, so that's good. This is do not remove a cover till placed on retail shelf. So this still has uh, this was never even on a retail shelf, but you see this was probably damaged on the way to Target or whatever. It's a uh, fire truck scooter. It's pretty cool. Some of this not trashed. Stickers need a little loving. As long as it's not trashed, that's just sell for a few bucks. Duh. Restick some stickers. Hit that with the heat gun. No, I got two of those. Another one. Same thing, box of smash still has the retail uh, overpack on it. A couple more of these big messenger bags. I got a bunch of those, I hope those sell. Gonna be having a messenger bag super sale.
in the next couple weeks. I'll have to open this box up so I don't have to lean in there so far. Ugh. Flip the inside out. Cat and Jack, Unicorn Backpack. $15 retail tag on it. It's all coming crashing down. Leave it. Here's two more of those glass calendars. Dry erase glass calendars. What's this? Dragon Snacks. Can you steal his snacks? That's a board game or a kid's game. Four and up. That stuff always sells well. Games sometimes just a pain to ship. If you haven't noticed, I like items that are first class, light, easy to ship. Uh, and I don't mind the heavier stuff as long as it fits in a standard box. I get wrapped up in a lot of time trying to make custom boxes. What is this? Pillow. Pillowcases, pillow protectors. There's two in each, there's four box bags there. Another backpack. This is a Swiss gear. It's nice pink, got a little bit of dirt on it. See if I can just clean that off. Um, tags are ripped off. Salmon, not pink. Swiss gear is a good name though. That's probably a $60 retail bag. I think that dirt's gonna wipe right off. It's good. There's another one. What's this? Eddie Bauer. It's like a diaper bag, maybe. Legend, Eddie Bauer Legend backpack. Yeah, there's a bunch of. No retail price on that. That's a nice bag. A little string hanging off. Clean that up for a list. It's still, still packing. Yep. Looks like there might be another one of those in there. Yeah, two of those Eddie Bauer diaper bag backpacks. Stuff rolling out. Grab a box for some of that little stuff here. Let's see. Can't work all the time. It's above 40 in February in Ohio. I guess beautiful blue sky sun is shining bright there are no windows in my office so we got Bubba and I decided to take a little break get some fresh air go for a little walk play a little Pokemon Go check this out this park is awesome it's uh, about a 10 a whole bunch of movie stops three gyms and lots of people always playing Check me out. Hit me up as a friend on Pokemon Go if you want to play. Alright, here we go. Frozen 2. They must have I've been getting a lot of Frozen 2 lately. Mini collectible push. Surprise boxes. Bunch of those here. What's this? Frozen 2 sugar scrub. That's gonna end up with a slime collection. Bunch of stuff that I don't want to deal with. Some Halloween leftovers here. What the heck is this? This is a Christmas tree in a bottle ornament special. Uh, six foot long lightning cable. This will probably end up staying here. My kids break cables like they're like their eggs. Little backpack. Kids backpack, Cat and Jack, 15 bucks. Sticker on it. What else we got here? Let's get in here. Got a whole bunch of these at the bottom. Star Wars. This is kit 30384. Lego Star Wars kit 30384. Snow speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
26.7. There's probably a couple more somewhere in there. So those are, these things only retail for like $3.99. It's gonna cost me three bucks to ship it anywhere. So I'll probably see if I can't lot those up, sell a 10 or 20 pack of them. We got here some floats, this is good. Uh, last couple packages I've been through, I've been, I've been saving a lot of summer stuff. I'm gonna start listing here probably March. I've got dive toys and floaties, squirt guns. So I'll add this to that pile. No hurry to get these listed, but Intex float mats. There's uh, six, six of those. These, they probably, I don't know, retail they're probably 10 bucks. I'll list them up, I'll throw them on, they're pretty heavy. So I'll throw them on Facebook Marketplace, five bucks a piece. What do we got here? Retro caps. Yeah, I didn't even know they remade these. They, remember these things back in the day? They had those little cap toys. These things clearance down. Buck, buck 18. I'll have to do some comps and see if those things are worth anything or if they're even selling at all. Got some plush. Here's a bunch more of those caps. Let me pull those out of here. Must not have done too well in retail. There's a bunch of them here. A couple of those are pretty crushed though. What do we got here? A beginner pottery wheel. Huh. It looks like it's unopened. Factory fresh, little dent in the box. Pretty heavy. It'll be another Facebook Marketplace thing, but that's probably worth 50 bucks. All right, I'm back. I had to do a quick battery change on the GoPro. Just put them back on here, suit up, and finish this pallet off. <clears throat> Disney Princess Surprise Crackers. $12 sticker on there. Some of you will buy those. Some Princess Fan. Each contains one pair of no-show socks. Wow, what a surprise. Surprise, socks. Yeah, not my thing. Don't think my kids would enjoy that very much either, huh? Let's see here, we got a couple of these. Infant. I can't read out that sticker on there. Infant. Padded, maybe? Padded towels? I'll have to check that brand as well. Cloud Island, it might be on the list. I'll have to yank those tags. There's one, two, three, four, five of those. The baby stuff usually sells pretty good. I don't see. Those are a good item. What's this thing? It's a purple sloth. Look at this thing, Animal Adventure, 15 bucks. Some sloth person's gonna like that. Check it out. When you get plush stuff, uh, I always recommend you really take a good look at it. I had one I only took a quick glance at a few weeks back uh, and I got a return on it because it had slime all over it. I missed it. It had just like one side of it. it had a bunch of slime in it, which is the reason I hate slime. That stuff gets everywhere. You get it in a box like this, one that opens up and it can destroy a whole lot of stuff. More of those. There's some more of those uh, pillowcases. The Captain Jack lunchbox. Got a little stain on it. That might come off. Clean, new, never used, lunch kit, nom, 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 nom. 
That might stay at my house too. My kids go through those things like nothing. They leave food in them. They get all nasty. I end up throwing them out because they get so gross. All right, we're getting to the bottom here. We got uh, Polaroid digital picture frame. Wood, that's pretty nice. Uh, appears unopened. I don't know what retail that thing is, but shouldn't have any issue selling it. It's this Capsule Chicks. Can I honestly say I've never seen one of these. I have no idea what it is, but it looks like something that will sell just fine. I'm gonna hear some random basket. Pillow fort storage crate is probably gonna end up part of my office. I always need somewhere to put crap. Stuff. Put stuff. Extra large dog collar. Not gonna work for my extra small dog, but it'll sell. I know what this is. What is this? A placemat. Yeah, I don't want to do that. A shoe stretcher. This, um, if you guys ever seen one of these, Kiwi Shoe Stretcher. I actually own a few of these. Uh, some of my leather boots just need a little extra, extra give. Uh, this is a woman's model. You can see it's got these bumps and the shape of it. And I think these things sell in stores for like 10 bucks. So, looks, looks new. It works. Somebody wants it. Um, I don't know what this is. Tic Tac toy. It looks like it's missing stuff. It might be something still laying in the bottom of this cart. That'll go in my, uh, I'll look at it, see what it's actually supposed to be in there. I have a feeling that's going to end up in that damaged box and dealt with it at a later time. We got here uh, an activity tracker. So no name. I don't see a name on this thing at all. Jim's activity tracker. It's a generic Fitbit. App looks decent in that picture, so we'll see what happens. We got here some. Uh, Apple earphones. So those are the same ones you get with a phone when you buy them. These got the three and a half millimeter jack, not the lightning plug, but those should sell. Those are worth something. Avino baby eczema therapy. Stuff like that's questionable to me. I have to open it and see if it looks like somebody's fingers have been in it. Bought it first card game, little dent in it, but it's unopened. <coughs> Baby Shark Plush. That'll sell. Do, 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 do. A couple more plushes in here. Let's see what we got. What is this thing? It's kind of ugly. Squishmallows. Sold a few of these. Some of these had recalls on them, though. I'll have to check, it. check that thing. Looks like a bath toy. It's got a $3 price tag on it. Manhattan. The Manhattan toys are always high quality. They sell really good. So a pink elephant. Um, it's got an $8 list on it. I'll just be able to get... Yeah, see, it's got a little something on there. It's like some slime or something. Let's see if that... Let's see if that stuff comes off. If not, it'll end up donated. Cloud Island washcloth. Unicorn washcloth. It's more baby stuff. That's kind of cool. Yeah, somebody wants that. Not me, though. All right, there's only a couple items left in here. What do we got? Hands down, the best teacher around. Thank you, note cards. Into school's coming up. Uh, good fellow handkerchiefs, looks like. What is this? A sh this is Batman. It says PlayStation tag on it. Who is this? You guys know who this guy is? Uh, post in the comments below if you know who this guy is. It says Bloodborne Stubbins. I don't get time to play a whole lot of video games, so I don't know. He's holding a, what is that, a saw, looks like. 
Got a little gun on his back. I have no idea who this guy is, but looks like he's worth five bucks at least. Officially licensed PlayStation product. Let me know if you know who that is. Last couple things here. Oh, there's that ornament I showed you earlier and a couple of little Halloween tins. All right, that box is empty. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this mess I got going on over here. Uh, clean up this mess a little bit. Take a look at some of this stuff again. Take a quick peek through the pallet. And I got those lamps. Uh, I'll look up. I forget what I paid for this pallet. I'll look it up. Um, let you know what the cost was and we'll see what we can get out of it. We got a lot of these messenger bags. So if those move well, we'll be just fine. Quick peek some of this stuff. Scooters should sell good. Diaper, I don't know about those diapers. There's nothing about that. Stay tuned. Got one more pallet right here. Uh, going to unbox that a little bit later. Just need to clean this all up. Get some of it listed. Try and make a few bucks back. Talk to you soon. So that pallet was $572 plus shipping, which was about $50. I paid $100. $50 to have all three pallets shipped. Uh, I think we're going to do pretty good on it. We should be able to make our break even pretty quick, and it's all profit on the upside from there. One other thing I wanted to talk about was accepting money. I saw a lot on Facebook Marketplace, and obviously I'd rather have cash, but quite a bit I get asked to take other forms of payment. Normally it's not a big deal for me. I'll take PayPal, Venmo, uh, the actual Facebook payment system, or the Cash App. They all work good. As long as I get paid, it's not a big deal. Sold those diapers that we got in that one pallet. The diapers and the wipes. Uh, threw them on Facebook Marketplace, one bundle. Diapers and wipes I sold for 25 bucks. Uh, used the Cash App, good to go. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Uh, next couple videos coming up, we'll do some how-tos and some more what's solds. See y'all soon, make those bucks.